My name's Alone, and in this video we will go over the top 5 most useful skills to train in old school RuneScape for beginners. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that this is not a guide on how to train each skill the most efficient way, but rather a video talking about how useful each of the skills are and why they have a great value to your account when starting off. I've actually left 5 video links in the description below that are excellent training guides for you to follow by the great content creator Theoatrix. I think he makes the best guides and that is why I've chosen those videos and you can follow those guides after watching this video. On spot number 5 we have Construction. Construction is a pretty expensive skill but has a massive amount of perks. For early game at level 47 construction you can build something called a Mounted Glory. This requires 3 teak planks and an amulet of glory to build. Normally the amulet of glory has charges that runs out as you use its teleports but if you build a mounted glory in your house it provides infinite charges making traveling a lot more convenient. At a bit of a higher level you can actually also at 81 construction build a basic jewelry box that gives infinite charges to the game necklace and the ring of dueling. Another reason to train to construction is the pools that you can build. These are built at various different construction levels starting at level 65 where you can build the restoration pool that restores only your special attack energy up to the Ornet rejuvenation pool that requires 90 construction to build that restores special attack, run energy, prayer points, restores any reduced stats, cures poisons and venoms and restores all your hit points. These pools are incredible additions to your future gameplay and will save you a lot of food and potions which can be pretty expensive in old school runescape. The last note I want to make about construction is the altars you can build, with the lowest level altar being at level 45, the oak altar, that increases your prayer gain from bones by 150% when you place the bones on it, with up to a 200% if you light both the incense burners on the sides of it. Meanwhile, the best altar you can build is at level 75 construction being the Gilded Altar that grants you a 300% experience boost, with up to 350% total boost with both the incense burning. Having these altars in your house will make prayer training a lot more effective, which saves both money and time while training the skill. Now over to spot number 4, prayer, which ties in perfectly after talking about the altars. There are three big milestones that are exceedingly important to go for early on your OSRS account when it comes to prayer levels. These are level 37, 40 and 43, which are all fairly low level requirements but grant some of the most useful abilities you have in the entire game. At level 37 you will be provided with the protect from magic prayer. This prayer meanwhile active grants you complete immunity to all magic attacks. Level 40 grants you immunity to ranged attacks in Protect from Missiles and at 43 you can use the last protection prayer, Protect from Melee, which gives you melee immunity. Now why these are so extremely strong is because most monsters in Old School RuneScape only uses one style of attacks, which essentially means that when you reach 43 prayer, you can be completely immune to every single attack you will encounter until way later parts of the game. As long as you have enough prayer points for it, which is restored either as an altar or with prayer restoring potions. Prayer actually has some incredible late game uses as well with massive damage increases prayers at level 70 and above, giving you more than 20% bonuses in damage and accuracy in magic, ranged, melee, and the protection prayers are always going to be useful, no matter the level of your account, that is why prayer is a perfect skill to get into early. Now for the third spot, we are going to talk about Slayer. Slayer is a true all-arounder, there is no losses to be had with this skill whatsoever. Training Slayer will reward you with both combat experience from all the monsters that you kill by leveling up, and at the same time it will permit you to kill more useful creatures that make you more money than usual monsters. You also unlock various Slayer specific bosses at higher levels which are known to be easy and very profitable compared to a lot of other bosses in the game. Now some of the more notable creatures you gain access to through the Slayer skill are the Kurasks at level 70 primarily for Iron Man. These are amazing for Herblore supplies that are normally a hassle to get for Iron Man, but as a normal account you can still make a good amount of money from these creatures, so they are even good for main accounts. You can also gain access to Aberrant Spectres, Cave Horrors, Bloodvelds, Gargoyles, Necreals, Abyssal Demons, Cave Krakens, just to name a few of the really profitable creatures to kill. The first Slayer boss you will be able to kill is at level 87, so a bit later in the skill, which is the Cave Kraken, which is a super easy boss that brings some decent profits along with it as well. 
Getting into spot number two, we have agility. Whenever you're really doing anything in the game at all, you want to be as efficient as possible, and walking around the whole world is very, very slow compared to running. So, training agility as one of your first skills is absolutely a great choice. The higher level your agility is, the longer you can run without your energy running out. Your energy regenerates faster depending on how high your agility level is, and the most impact is at the earlier levels. So getting to around level 60 will make a huge difference for the efficiency of your gameplay. There is also various different shortcuts around the world which will make it way faster to travel to different areas. Instead of having to take this super long way around, you can just take a quick shortcut to get to the area right away. Training agility is also very simple, possibly quite boring, but very easy to do on your phone for example, meanwhile doing something else. So when you finally sit down to start questing or training other skills, your run energy won't constantly run out and you will have to walk everywhere. So now for the number one spot, and I've decided to go with magic for the most useful skill to train in old school runescape. Magic is, to me, by far the most useful skill to train early game in old school runescape, mostly because of its utility in teleports. The skill allows you to use runes to teleport instantly to most areas of the game, which means it saves so much time so you don't have to run everywhere between the different areas meanwhile doing really anything. Because of questing being a super important part of early game in old school runescape and most quests are usually requiring you to travel between different areas of the game and having teleports to get to where you need to go right away will make your experience so smooth and seamless. As magic is also a combat stat it will also make you stronger in combat which will be very useful meanwhile training slayer or doing other combat related activities such as for example killing a boss during a potential quest that you're working on. The last useful thing about magic I'm going to mention is the alchemy spells, which there are two. The low alchemy spell at level 21 magic, which is very low requirement, and the high level alchemy, which is the most effective one giving you more outcome of the spell, which requires 55 magic. This with the use of nature and fire runes turns item you choose into money, which makes monster killing a lot more convenient as in old school runescape you only have 28 slots in your inventory to carry items, and by bringing a stack of fire and nature runes, you can turn most armor pieces and various other drops straight into money instead of having to constantly run to the bank, deposit everything and run back to where you originally were. So I've gone through all the different skills, but I actually have one last honorable mention before I end the video, and that is farming. And uh, I want to talk about farming real brief because I want to say that the reason why I recommend this skill in early game is primarily for the herb runs because if you're on Iron Man it is obviously great to have farming to get all the herbs that you need for the potions that you need to have for future PVM endeavors you want to take part in but even for normal accounts doing herb runs regularly is going to give you a lot of money in the long run and it is a very simple skill to get into and you don't need high levels at all to make decent money. The herbs actually with the most profit is the Raynor ones, which are at already 32 farming. Now I would recommend you definitely to get the Magic Secateurs, which is from the Fairy Tales Part 1 quest. If you have that, you will get more herbs and also use the Ultra Compost for the maximum amount of profit. So to give an example, the Raynor seeds are currently 45,617 GP per seed, and from one single patch, aka one seed, I got back 63,000 GP, meaning I made 18,000 GP roughly from one single patch. And if you do unlock every single herb patch in the game, you can actually have 9 herb patches at a time. And if you harvest all of them, you are going to make roughly 162,000 GP every single herb run, and there is basically no work that you have to do. But that is going to do it for this list for the top 5 skills I believe are the most useful ones to train for beginners. Of course this is in general very good skills to train for anyone who is even experienced to the game. I think if you are you are going to most likely agree that these skills are at least very useful to have on your account at a high level early on in your progress. But of course there are a variety of useful skills in the game and I think you should get pretty decent skills all around but I just believe that these specific skills are the most important ones to get at a decent level early on in your gameplay. 
With that said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like. I actually really worked hard on this. And whether you agree or disagree with my list, that is all good. If you do disagree, please let me know in the comment section below what I could have improved on or what skills you think are actually more important to train for your account early on. And did you know the most important skill in the entire game is subscribing to alone on YouTube? Did you know that only 33% of the people that watch these videos are subscribed to my channel? Maybe you can consider clicking that button and raising that to 34%. That would be greatly appreciated. Have a good one guys, take care.